Well, some of you remember during the campaign, we had a slogan, fired up. Not everybody here knows how this story came about. So I'm going to tell it again. Because it bears on health care reform. This is early in the campaign when none of you knew how to pronounce my name. I had just announced and I was looking for support. I had to go down to South Carolina, those early primary states. I went down to Green, uh, Greenville for a uh, for a legislative dinner. And I was sitting next to a state representative there and I wanted her support. I needed some endorsements. Nobody supported me at the time. So I said, Madam Representative, I, I, I need your endorsement. She said, I will give you my endorsement if you come to my hometown, Greenwood, South Carolina. And I said, I had had a glass of wine. I said, fine. <laughs> from every place else. <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere. So about a month later, I fly back into Greenville. I'm, I'm tired, I'm sleepy. And, yeah, I, I, I've been campaigning for two weeks straight. I'm, in, I'm dragging my bags to my hotel room, and suddenly I get a tap on my shoulders. My staff person, I said, what? They said, uh, we got to be in the car at 6.30 tomorrow morning. I said, what? 6.30, why? Because we've got to go to Greenwood like you promised. <laughs> so the next morning, I wake up and I feel terrible. I'm dragging out of bed. I feel like a college student. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in college and don't want to wake up. I feel like I've been staying up late doing who knows what. I'm exhausted. I, I, I go over to the, the curtains to try to get some sunlight, wake myself up. It's pouring down rain outside. <laughs> Miserable. I, I, I go to get some coffee. I open up the newspaper. There's a bad story about me in the New York Times. I go downstairs, at, and my, my umbrella busts open. And I get, I get poured on. So by the time I'm in the car, I'm, I'm wet. And I'm sleepy and I'm tired and, and I'm mad. <laughs> and we start driving and we're driving and we're driving us an hour and a half. And I realize I'm going to have to drive an hour and a half back. <laughs> and, 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 when I, and, and finally we get to Greenwood, although you don't know you're in Greenwood right away. <laughs> but, but there's a, a little park district building. We, we go into this park field as I get a little more wet. Get inside, and after this long drive, waking up at 6.30, there are only about 20 people. <laughs> 20 people. And they're all kind of damp, and they don't look that excited to see me. <laughs> they don't really know how to pronounce my name either. <laughs> but, you know, I'm running for president, so I'm shaking hands. How do you do? Nice to meet you. Suddenly, I hear this voice behind me shout out, Fired up! <laughs> I'm startled. Everybody around me, they just think this is normal. They say, fired up. And suddenly I hear this voice, ready to go. And everybody goes, ready to go. And I say, what's going on? I look behind me, there's this small woman. She's about five feet, five two. She, she's about, about 50, 60 years old. And uh, she's just, she, she's dressed like she just came from church. She's got a big church hat. And she's looking at me, she's smiling. She says, fired up. Come to find out that there's a city council member from Greenwood. Uh, she also, by the way, moonlights as a private detective. True story. <laughs> True. True story. But she's mainly known for her chant. She does this everywhere she goes. She, everywhere, at, at any event, football game, you know, at a, at, a, at a city council meeting, she says, fired up. And everybody says, fired up, ready to go. Everybody says, ready to go. So for the next five minutes, she keeps on doing this. She says, fire it up, fire it up, ready to go, ready to go. And I realize I'm being upstage. So I'm looking at my staff asking, you know, what's
What's going on here? When, when is this going to stop? <laughs> They're shrugging their shoulders. They don't know. <laughs> but here's the thing, Marilyn. After about a minute, a couple minutes of this, suddenly I realized I'm, I'm feeling kind of fired up. <laughs> Change your room. 